few days ago, I was one of the lucky people to have been able to upgrade my Motorola Zoom to Android 3.1. This version of Honeycomb comes with quite a lot of tweaks and fixes, but I'm just going to focus on a few changes to the actual operating system, which I think are the most important. Although definitely not a new feature, Live Wallpaper works heck of a lot better on Android 3.1. Quite a lot of people have complained that a lot of the wallpapers would either crash constantly or the majority of them would slow down the tablet. Now Android 3.1 solves this issue and speeds up the tablet to make it a lot quicker altogether. The other really cool update on Android 3.1 is that widgets are now resizable. There are quite a lot of widgets on the market right now that are very nice but the problem is a lot of them can become very bulky and they just don't fit right on Honeycomb. This fix will allow you to resize a widget by either making it smaller or larger on any of your home screens. This is more of a visual fix, but a nice one. When Honeycomb was first announced, the scrollable application window was an awesome feature to have. Although it was quickly learned that it would only display five windows or applications currently running. The great thing about Zoom is you can have a lot more than five applications running on the tablet. So on Android 3.1, you are now able to scroll between 17 open applications through the application window. This is a really nice feature, but I wish they would have went one step further and gave the user an ability to easily kill a window by simply clicking on it. Instead of going into the actual application and killing it, or going through the running application list in the settings, but oh well, maybe Android 3.2 will be able to fix this. USB connectivity is now a reality in Android 3.1. This might not sound like a great feature, but what it means is you're now able to hook up keyboards, mice, joysticks, and other micro USB devices. There is also talks of future updates that will allow you to hook up external drives. I'm a bit skeptical of that, but we'll see. Not only has the Wi-Fi status picture changed on the bottom right of the home screen, it runs a lot smoother on Android 3.1. According to Google, they invested quite a lot of hours fixing the Wi-Fi connection issues and completely redesigned the entire application. Instead of a simple Wi-Fi icon, the new Wi-Fi icon will actually tell you when your tablet is uploading or downloading data. Although there isn't a lot of visual difference between the stock browser that Google had, there are some different changes under the hood. Android 3.1 fixes some glitches that were in the first Honeycomb version, and they have made the entire browser a lot more stable. Plus with the release of Flash 10.3 for Honeycomb, the Zoom can now flawlessly play Facebook games such as Farmville, Cityville, etc., which quite a lot of people are very happy with. Lastly, the last big change or update on Android 3.1 is the market. On the market, you will now see a section for movies. This will allow you to stream in movies from your Google account ranging from $3.99 to a little bit higher. Google also has a movies app if you wish to download the movies instead of the market. Of course, there are a lot more updates on Android 3.1, but I just want to talk about the ones that have the most impact on the tablet. Thank you for watching my video, and for more videos, kindly check out www dot tabletvideos dot info